Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to take the ruler. And you're going to look and see if your ruler is on at the edge, if the starting point is on the edge of the ruler, or is it in a little bit like this is. Mine is in a little bit. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put the starting point of my ruler on the edge of the paper. Then I'm going to put a dot on each inch mark. We are making a one inch grid. Keep going. Notice that I'm putting a dot on every inch mark. Then I'm going to slide the ruler down. Do not turn your paper. And I'm going to put a dot on each inch mark this way. Notice how I'm putting on the inch mark. That's the longest line next to the number. When we get to the 10, it's the longest line next to the, line next to the number on this one, too. That's how much. Now, if you have a different ruler, it might be a little different. Then I'm going to connect the dots going all the way across the page. Now, I am going to draw dark so you can see it. You are going to draw white because we do not want to see your grid lines when you are done. So I'm making sure that I'm connecting both dots and going from one end to the other. Okay, now I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to do my vertical line. So once again, I'm going to put, make sure that the ruler starts on the edge of the paper. Notice the start of my inch mark is on um, the edge of the paper. And I'm going to put a dot on each inch mark. You got to make sure your grid's right or this will not look right. All right, so I'm going to slide my ruler down. I'm not going to turn my paper. I'm going to put a dot on each inch mark down here again. Notice I lined up my ruler, the start of my ruler with the edge of the paper again. All right, now I have my grid. Now, I'm going to take my picture of my dolphin. And if you're printing out a picture, you can do it this way. I guess I'll have the letters on the dolphin for you. Um, I am going to letter and number this. I'm going to leave the top left corner empty. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay? Then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice I left the top corner empty. All right? I just did it in red so you could see the difference in mine, all right? So, you'll probably be looking at your dolphin on the screen, unless you can print it out. But um, if you can't print it out, then just look at it on the screen, because it'll have the right amount of boxes. Now, I'm going to go over here, get my box, my paperback, and I'm going to letter it and number it as I see it on here. I'm going to leave the top. I'm going to leave the top corner empty. I'm going to put A, D, 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 E, F, G, H, I, J. Leave this empty and then number it down to seven. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Don't worry about this part down here. Just, you're not going to use that part. Now, what you're going to do, you are going to look at A1. You're going to go to A1 right here. I'm sorry. We're going to look at 1. You're going to look at 1 right here. And I'm going to put look at A1 right here on this part. And I'm going to put a dot where I see that touching. I see it touching right here. It's about halfway between these two lines. I'm going to put a dot right here about halfway between those two lines. And I'm going to put a dot right here. And I'm going to say, okay, that's about a fourth of the way into this box. So I'm going to put a dot right there just to show me where I've got that. So I'm going to draw that shape. That's this shape right here. So then I'm going to go ahead and shade what I see. I'm also going to go ahead and do, and I'm going to erase the grid as I go. I'm going to go ahead and draw what I see. I see the reflections in the water. Just like that. Now I'm going to go to A1 right here. I'm going to go to A. And then I'm going to see where 1 is, and I'm going to go to that box. Well, I've already got this side dotted off, so I'm going to go up here to where it touches the top line. Okay? And it's about halfway between these two lines. And then I'm going to shade this the way I see it. Well, if I look at this, this is dark here, medium, and then there's a light section right here. So... I'm going to go ahead, put a little guideline right here, and a little guideline right here, because that's where it touches between these two lines. And I'm going to go ahead and shade it. Notice how I'm holding my pencil to, using the side of the pencil point, because that's the way I like to do it. And then I'm going to get a little bit lighter. I'm not pressing down as hard on the pencil. The harder you touch the paper, the darker it's going to be. If you don't touch bear down as much, it's going to be lighter. All right. Now, I want to go ahead and erase the grid as I go so that I won't have lines. So, the next section, I'm going to go up into A, and I'm going to see where this hits. It's just a little bit above this line. I'm going to put me a dot. And I'm going to shade what I see. Notice how I'm shading over the line so we don't see the line. I'm also going to erase right here. Get rid of these red lines. And go ahead and shade the water. Hopefully your grid lines will be lighter because we don't want to see the lines when you're done. I just need you to be able to see the lines on this video. All right, now I'm going to go over. I'm going to do maybe two more boxes and then I'll let you do. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to go down here to two. And I'm going to see it's already marked right here where I'm going to start. And then... It ends right about here on the bottom of two, the box of two. I'm going to try to draw that curve a little bit. I'm going to erase this grid. And I'm going to go ahead and shade it. You want to try to match the shade that you see. Then I'm going to go over here. Go ahead and shade the reflections in the water that I see. Go ahead and erase this one. 
All right, then I'm going to do this box. This shade comes on down in here. I'm going to outline it so I can kind of make me a line drawing. So there's one, two, three, four, about four different values in this one box, okay? So I'm going to look and see where this is touching, where this crease in the, uh, the top of its nose or snout. I don't know what you call that. Um, we're going to make this touch right about here. This little light reflect, reflection comes and hits right about here. I'm going to go ahead and shade that and try to erase the grid as I see it. All right, so then this comes on down and hits the bottom line right about here. That's like the top of its nose or nozzle or whatever you call it. Put that little dark crease in there. I'm gonna go ahead and shade this to match what I see on the picture. Then if you look at this, there's a little highlight right here. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this one and this one and this one so it will be easy to cover up. So when you get done, you shouldn't see any lines. You should only see edges. Okay, I'm going to leave you to do the rest of it. Thank you.